Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I cannot believe that I'm about to say this, but we've officially reached 100,000 subscribers. I woke up, well actually, I stayed up last night to see if I was going to hit it, and I did, and I literally like could not fall asleep. I was so excited. I love you guys so much. I say this all the time on my channel, but I'm so grateful for every single person who watches, who gives me a thumbs up, who comments. I could never ever put it into words, but this channel has been such a blessing in my life social media overall has been such a blessing instagram and youtube but i feel like on youtube i can connect with you guys and you guys can see more of what i'm thinking what i'm doing and like i can just put a lot more information out there and it just means the absolute world to me so thank you guys so much i have seriously had the biggest smile on my face today and everywhere i go i'm just like smiling at people and they probably think i'm so weird but i'm just so so happy and grateful i hope that i'm able to meet every single person who watches my channel one day just so i can thank you in person i'm going to try to plan some sort of giveaway i haven't really thought about it i'm not gonna lie 100,000 like really like creeped up on me because once I made the my fitness journey video It just kind of spiraled up and I wasn't expecting it So I'll definitely have something planned out soon and I will announce it in I'm thinking next video so be sure to check that out but for today I wanted to film um, three different ways that you guys could do hit because on my latest video which was tips for beginners so many people asked me to film this kind of video um, so I'm going to go to the gym she was gonna help me film and then we might go shopping after that so I'll bring you guys along should be a good vlog and I will also explain everything once I get back home um, that way this will be kind of like an informational video as well as a vlog so stay tuned thank you guys again so much you have no idea how much this makes my day and how happy I am right now like I just like I have butterflies like thinking about it so I love you guys I'll see you at the gym guys so I just really quickly wanted to come on here and do a little commentary over the four styles of hit that you'll see me doing in this video on the Stairmaster, the treadmill, the elliptical, and the bike. Now before we get into that what is HIT? It's basically a form of cardio known as high intensity interval training. Um, there's two other types of cardio which is steady state and then moderate intensity. If I had to explain it in the simplest way possible, um, the difference between the three is actually in their name. So a steady state cardio, you're keeping your heart rate the same. An example would be walking on the treadmill or doing a very, very light jog with moderate intensity. You're upping the intensity just a little bit, so maybe you're jogging a little bit faster. Or if you're uphill walking, you've set the resistance up a little bit more where your heart rate does go up, but it's still kept at a very steady pace. Now with high intensity interval training, I think this one is a lot different than the other two. So so your goal is to have quick bursts of energy followed by a resting period. When you're doing steady state or moderate intensity cardio, um, most people can do that for a lot longer than you would be able to do HIT. So steady state, someone could do 30 to 40 minutes. With moderate intensity, you could do 30 to 20 minutes. But with HIT, most people should not be able to go longer than I would say 15 to 20 minutes max. That's like really pushing it. Now I have absolutely hated high intensity workouts up until I would say probably like five months ago. It just really takes a lot out of you and I used to really enjoy cardio sessions where I could throw my headphones on, set a certain level of resistance on the Stairmaster, watch a YouTube video and just kind of zone out. You can't really do that with HIT, at least I personally can't. I have to like focus on my breathing, getting the most out of my resting period, which is usually like 20, 30, maybe 40 seconds at the most. So I'll usually just kind of like put together a playlist of songs and listen to that that way I don't have to like worry about switching to a different YouTube video or if I don't like a song like I need something that's going to motivate me to do it if you're in a caloric deficit and you're trying to lose weight um, hit has been proven to be the better type of cardio to do you can burn a lot more calories through doing like 10 to 20 minutes of hit versus like 30 to 40 minutes of steady state or moderate intensity cardio however if you watch my channel then you know what I'm about to say if you're someone who absolutely truly hates hit don't first 
yourself to do it. Choose a form of cardio that you know you're going to stick to. Um, that is my best advice. But if you do like HIIT, then that is great because like I said, you don't have to do a lot of it to get the results that you want. Now I think that's about it as far as intro to HIIT. Um, at the moment I do it about three to four times a week. Um, sometimes I'll actually go to my apartment gym in the morning and just get it done and over with and then I'll do my lift later on in the day. Um, but if I am doing it together, I'll typically do my weightlifting portion of the workout first and then I'll do HIIT afterwards. Now getting into the four types of HIIT that I showed you guys in this video. So I'm going to start off with the Stairmaster because at the moment stairs and the treadmill are like my favorite way to do it. Um, so you always, always, always want to warm up first. You don't want to just like jump right into high intensity training. That would be bad. That could cause injury. I usually warm up to like between five to 10 minutes. Um, I'll just go in a Stairmaster. I'll throw it on like a level six and just walk, listen to some music, get in the right mindset for it. And then after that, I'll start doing my hits. So at the moment, my favorite ratio is 20 seconds going all out and then 40 seconds going very, very slowly. I think the Stairmaster is at goal to go up to 25. So I'll get it to 25. As you guys will see right now, I basically look like I'm sprinting up the stairs. Um, I'll do that for 20 seconds. Right as the 20 seconds are up, I'll lower the speed to five and then I'll walk for the remaining 40 seconds and then I'll start it all over again. First round of it will feel like a piece of cake. You're like, oh, I got this. But like by round three, you're kind of like, what am I doing right now? I'm dying. Um, and that's okay. It's going to be very difficult. You have to push yourself. Now, please keep in mind, I'm giving you guys examples of what I personally do. If you can't sprint at the 25 level of speed, then that's totally okay. Um, just put the resistance as much as you personally can. And then the more you do it and the more you push yourself, um, you'll get better at it. So that's the Stairmaster. And then we'll be on to the treadmill. I like to use the exact same ratio. So 20 seconds on, 40 seconds off. I like to set my speed to 9.5. I think our treadmills go to like 10, but um, the one time that I tried to do it at 10, I just like, I couldn't run as fast. So 9.5 like works perfectly for me. It's basically as fast as I can go. I'll set it to that and then I'll leave it for the entire 10 to 15 minutes that I'm doing this. So I will sprint for 20 seconds and then you guys will see right now, I kind of just jump off to the sides and I stand for 40 seconds and I wait, I breathe, I drink some water and then I repeat it all over again. I have tried to do it before where I lower the speed of the treadmill but I feel like it just takes so long for it to like go up and down that I have too much rest in between and I'm like not getting as much out of it. My camera's currently on like 15%, so I'm gonna try to just go through this as fast as I can. Now moving on to the bike. So I want to include this in the video because I know that a lot of people actually prefer to do their cardio on a bike. Um, not my personal choice, I'm not gonna lie, but I know that a lot of time gym equipment could be taken and maybe you don't have any Stairmasters or treadmills or maybe you just like have a stationary bike at home and you wanna do it on there. On the bike, I prefer to go 15 seconds on and 30 seconds off. For the 15 seconds that I'm going super, super fast, um, I like to just kind of like have my butt off of the bike a little bit because it just, I feel like it makes me go faster. Um, and then for the 30 seconds off, I'll kind of just lean back and go super slow. I don't stop completely because I feel like it's a lot harder for me to like start the bike and get it moving. Um, that way I already have kind of like momentum going. That's what I do for the bike. And then for the elliptical, I will once again do 15 seconds on and 30 seconds off. Um, you guys will see on the screen right now, I just basically go as fast as I possibly can. I don't remember the exact resistance that I set it on, but honestly, you guys, just pick a resistance that you feel like challenges you the most. And I would say once again, with the elliptical, I don't come to a complete stop, just because I feel like the momentum during your resting period really does help um, when you're going all out. But yeah, that is it for this part of the video. I hope that you guys found it helpful or informational, and don't click out yet, because I did end up vlogging yesterday, and... I think the day before that as well. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so awkward at like transitioning clips. I say this all the time. I never know what to say, but yeah, don't click out yet.
Hi guys, so it's now the next day. I totally failed at vlogging yesterday. I don't know what happened, but I honestly feel like because I've been making so many sit down videos that I forgot that you have to actually like pull out your camera throughout the day and vlog. I think this day is going to be a really good day. It's going to be a little bit busy for me. Um, I have a meeting in Hollywood and then I have a class. And then after that, I'm actually going to Malibu with Omar and I think we're going to celebrate um, 100,000 subscribers. So it should be a really good day. I'm excited. But I'm a Capricorn and I like love to be on time and I love to have everything like scheduled out. I don't know, it's just like, it gives me so much pleasure and I feel like I'm running a little bit late because LA traffic sucks the life out of you. So I cut you off, I don't need your love, cause I already cried enough, I've been done. We got into this mess, got so aggressive, and no we then I'll get intention. Does anyone else get crazy driving anxiety? Because I do, and I'm like so happy that I just made it. I don't know why, just like driving in Hollywood, I think is so difficult because the streets are just so small and there's just like construction and cars everywhere. Anyway, I made it. I'm on time. So I'll check with you guys once uh, my meeting is done. <laughs> Finger was a peace sign, yeah. 